Votre obsession pour la musique nous coûte une fortune. Vous voulez fermer mon couvent Je ne vous en savais pas propriétaire. Hi, I'm Chad Dunleavy, film critic at the Montreal Gazette. This week, we're going to talk about La Passion d'Augustine, a new film from Swiss Québécoise director Léa Poul. À moins de miracles, nous ne serons plus ici très longtemps. Qu'avez-vous l'intention de faire On va se battre. Léa Poul, I interviewed her last week, and she talked about wanting to revisit uh, this. Uh, time in the in the mid 60s in the midst of the quiet revolution as religious schools were being uh, phased out in Quebec and we were going towards a, a public school system nos filles apprennent que la musique peut être une prière it's really a, a forgotten time in in Quebec history especially the contribution of of these nuns who ran these uh, mostly all girls boarding schools and uh, the the contributions they brought to education and especially to music in this case as well. It's, this is a music school, and uh, it, it's really about this, this nun, the head nun played by Céline Bonnier, who runs the school and has a big passion for music. De nous porter à la défense de notre couvent. Et aux efforts que les religieuses n'ont jamais fait. Du bruit. Her, her rebellious niece comes to visit, and there's a, the crux of the film is in the relationship between the two, between this niece who's free-spirited, she's a bit of a hippie, uh, and yet she's a piano prodigy, and and she really uh, forces uh, Augustine uh, to confront her own past and her own passion as well. Her own this this kind of more vibrant side of her personality that is is more repressed. Uh, it's really nuanced filmmaking job by Leah Poole. This is kind of a mainstream film. It's very accessible. Uh, it's it's a coming of age film in a way, and and, and yet it, it doesn't fall into cliche. You don't fall into uh, uh, the typical character roles of these of these really serious strict nuns and the kids who are trying to fight for what they believe in. It, it's a little more delicate than that. You, you, the nuns all have their own distinct little characters. They're very quirky, and you you sent you really get the sense of these women. Uh, bringing their everything, their whole personality in a way, giving a lot of themselves to, to what they do, even if they are increasingly out of touch with the times. Les religieuses d'un petit couvent situé au bord du Richelieu lancent un cri d'alarme. Au nom de nos convictions, pour nos filles, pour la musique, pour tout ce que nous croyons juste.